Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone video. Today I am showing you a design that I came up with myself on a super fast shulker box unloader. This is compatible with empty shulker boxes, so any shulker box can come through the system. Empty shulker boxes will end up in this chest. I have one in there from testing. And then all the items will end up down here. I do have a couple of mods installed that are just my client side mods. They have nothing to do with the actual working of this machine at all, it's just stuff to make it easier to show off. So here I have a shulker box full of items, and in the vanilla game, if you control middle click on a box like a chest or a hopper or whatever that has items in it, you can copy the items. So as you see here, I have a shulker box full of nine stacks of items, it gets dispensed here, and if I look inside the box, you can see the items get sucked out very fast. Shulker box gets broken, put into this chest, while all the items get put into here four at a time because of this unloading system. There is an easier system here that requires less minecarts and stuff if you want a cheaper version. It's just the same design, I just didn't really build it up, so that piston just relates to here. And yeah, so that's how it works, and yes, this is compatible with empty shulker boxes. So as you can see here, I have an empty shulker box, if I pop an empty shulker box in here, it's dispensed and broken right away and ends up in here. So all the materials that you need to build that are in this chest. Uh, you will need a double chest and stuff. This is just the bare minimum amount. So two repeaters, two comparators, one redstone torch, four dust, three observers, and so on and so forth. So uh, let's get started then. So first off, this is going to be the base output, whatever. So this can be anything you want. I'll just use a double chest for ease of use. And then from the double chest, place four hoppers on either side, uh, hoppers on top of it, and then hoppers into the chest. This, These are more hoppers than needed. I only counted for these six hoppers. Uh, more hoppers are needed for the rest of the farm, but just these six are absolutely necessary. The rest of these, you can do whatever you want with it. You can do normal chests under here if you want, or whatever you want. Uh, now, you need to set up for the hopper minecarts. So, you're going to grab your iron bars. If I can grab the iron bars, you are going to place them in an order like this. So, like a U shape on some of the hoppers place down a rail and now here you can make a choice if that's a little bit more expensive but you get more speed so place two hopper minecarts this is absolutely necessary but if you want you can also place a third wait for it to move out of the way to one of the sides and then a fourth and it gets pushed to the other side so I have four minecarts in there you can either do four or you could do two um, I'm only going to do I'm uh, if you're going to use two you can just break the rail and then you push them into place like this. But if you're going to use four, it's going to be very, uh, you have to place the minecarts in, then three, four, and then you break the rail. But to push the minecarts in, you need to do it with a piston. So grab another iron bar, it has to be an iron bar, place a piston there, and then just power it and unpower it. And then you have four minecarts in there. Uh, next, you need to take a block, um, you take a block, put a piston on top of it, and then you push the block down into the minecarts. Over here, I used a transparent block uh, to make sure that the hopper minecarts stay visible. Uh, if you have a solid block, they turn like that. It still works, but if you want to use opaque block just to make it uh, not have that lighting glitch, you can do that. But yeah so next grab a grab an activator rail this has to be an activator rail uh to power and depower the minecarts or the hopper minecarts to make sure it doesn't uh suck up the shulker box place two iron bars on either side place a hopper minecart another hopper minecart and again you could either do just two or to increase the speed again you can place four in here and then once you have four minecarts um, on the opposite side that you have these iron bars, uh, place a block there, and then a normal piston on top of that. This is where the actual shulker box is going to be broken. Next, you pull out a dispenser, and 
place the dispenser so it's facing downwards into the piston, or downwards into the face of the piston, whatever like that. Uh, now you could pick either side, doesn't really matter, I'm just going to this side. Place a block on top of that iron bar and on the side of the iron bar. Place comparators on either, on both of those blocks. And the top one, make sure to put into subtract mode. Next, place a block on top of the lower comparator and a block coming into the face of the uh, other lower comparator. A block on the side of the lower comparator. Place a temporary block, then a block there, like that. Then a repeater on this lower block, and then a repeater set to three ticks up here. Next, you're going to grab an observer facing into this uh, three tick repeater. Its face is into the repeater and then you place an observer into the other one so its face is into this observer. You place a block on the back of it, a block on this comparator, a repeater facing out of this block on three ticks, a normal block with redstone dust on top of it, and then grab your target block and place it on the side of this dispenser. Uh, this target block is necessary because the redstone dust redirects into the target block and that's what actually powers the dispenser to dispense the shulker box. Next, you are going to need the uh, output for the uh, shulker boxes. So you could just place a chest, whatever, here, and then a hopper. You just need a hopper facing off to the side, and then this can be however long you want for wherever you want your empty shulker boxes to go. But otherwise, your empty shulker boxes will end up here. And the items will end up there. And now uh, place a block facing out of this repeater here, a block facing out of that repeater, redstone dust on top of this block, redstone torch on the side of this, place a temporary block there, and then another block down, break the temporary block, then again temporary block, block, break the temporary block, redstone dust on both of those, sticky piston right here on the side of this block, with an observer facing upwards, so the face is down towards the ground, but the uh, little redstone dot is facing up. Now the build is done. Uh, from the top here, you can just have whatever hoppers for the input of shulker boxes. And as you can see, if you just take a shulker box here, full of the items, pop them in there, shulker box gets dispensed, Items get sucked out very fast, and then shulker box ends up in this chest, and the items end up down here. And like, you can make this system even faster if you want, by adding even more chains of hopper minecarts going down, but I, I tried messing around with that for a bit, and I just thought it's too complicated for what you need. So yeah, and also if you want the, uh, a smaller version, uh, which I showed you over here. Yeah, just make sure that this just ends up here in the same place, but instead of just doing this lower system, you just have the hoppers across here where that solid block is. So, yeah, uh, there isn't really anything else to know about this system. This is the smallest system that I was able to find, and also at the speed that it works at, it's one of the fastest without like having to use a bunch of hopper minecarts and stuff like this is pretty fast with hopper minecarts and it doesn't use that many and yeah this is the fastest uh most compact version that i've been able to find at least through my searching so yeah i hope that you all enjoyed this short redstone tutorial and i will see you all in the next episode